Hello there and welcome to another tutorial. In the last tutorial we started looking at how expressions are treated when they've got mixtures of operations in. And we discovered that plus minus have equal priority. They're treated equally when evaluating expressions. What do I mean by priority here? I mean the order in which the operations are performed. And we often call this precedence. So these are simply performed left to right. Similarly, multiplication and division have equal precedence. And these are also performed left to right. But now what happens if we have an expression that involves a mixture of addition, subtraction and multiplication division? Then the results can matter on the order in which the operations are performed. Now you probably already know the acronym BIDMAS, sometimes called BODMAS. So now we're going to clarify what this acronym means or what part of it means. It means that Divide and multiply operations are performed before addition subtraction operations. So multiply, divide have higher precedence than add and subtract. In other words, multiply, divide are performed first. So let's write down a couple of expressions here and uh, add in some bracketing to demonstrate the order of operations. So suppose we had the expression shown here. Let's try to figure out what order the operations should be done in. Well, the first thing to do is to identify all of the operators. So I'm going to put an arrow to each operator. There's an addition, a multiplication, subtraction, division, and another multiplication. Now because this expression has a mixture of different precedence operators in it, we have to use these rules which say that multiply or divide, which are treated equally, must be performed before add and subtract, which are treated equally. So that means that this multiplication operation would need to be done first. And now here in this expression, we've got a mixture of multiplies and divides. Remember, they're treated with equal precedence. So within that sub-expression, we would work from left to right. Finally, we would perform the addition and subtraction, and they have equal priority. So let's bracket this expression to demonstrate the order in which the operations would be performed. So here we must perform the multiplication first. In this one, this is a mixture of multiplications and divisions, so it should be performed left to right. So we divide first, then we multiply. Finally, we have two expressions here that are combined with an addition and subtraction. They have equal priority and so should go left to right. So we perform the addition first, and then we perform the subtraction. So Python always follows this ordering, which agrees with the standard mathematical bid mass, bod mass operator ordering. So there's one important operation that we use a great deal in arithmetic that we haven't talked about yet, and that's exponentiation. So the first thing we should do in talking about exponentiation is to figure out, is it left or right associative? Do we perform exponentiations left to right or right to left? So let me just remind you what exponentiation is. In Python, this is x star star y, which means mathematically x to the power y. Well, in ordinary mathematics, if I have a chain 
of exponentiation like this, x to the power y to the power z, that's conventionally taken to mean that we perform the rightmost operation first. So this is actually not like addition and subtraction and multiplication division. So in mathematics, exponentiation is conventionally right associative. And the same is true in Python. So star star operator, the exponential operator, is right associative. So let's show how that would look in Python. If we exponentiate x to the y, then to the z, what that really means is that we perform the rightmost operation first. So if we had a chain involving many exponentiations without any other operators, we would work from right to left. Now, we know now that exponentiation is right associative, but where does it fit in with all of these other operations? Well, in the acronym BIDMAS or BODMAS, the I at the beginning stands for indices, or the O stands for order, and these mean exponentiation. So this should be performed first. So in terms of precedence, star star is performed before multiply divide which is in turn before add subtract. So we perform all of the exponentiations first. Now this is pretty useful because it means that when we write down an expression like the following that's an example of a quadratic expression we don't need to put any extra brackets in in order to get the meaning that we intend because automatically because of these precedence rules the squaring gets done first so this is equivalent to the squaring first then the multiplications are done so this is a mathematical expression without the star operator for multiply but there's a multiplication and there's one so the multiplications are done next and finally the additions are done at the end. So that's the desired behavior and making exponentiation have the highest precedence so that it's done at the very beginning enables us to write that expression down with no brackets in and get the meaning that we desire. So this means then that in Python we can also get away without brackets in that expression.